Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, another question that got uh, in the uh, comments and I thought, yep, that's a good question because we, um, I don't think I've never ever talked about the difference about um, Hyper-V and Windows Sandbox. And so that question came through. Once again, Hyper-V is also only pro versions or enterprise and so on or education. Uh, not home. Um, so what is the difference between iPerv and Windows Sandbox? Windows Sandbox is already pre-programmed within your operating system to run a Windows operating system within a um, virtualized environment. So basically, there's no customization possible. Uh, you can't use that to you know install Windows 7 or Linux or anything else. It is pre-programmed to be a fresh new Windows 10 machine all the time. And that's its only task. So it's an easy way to get another Windows 10 machine running that will default back to start to a fresh new install every time. That also is a difference with Hyper-V. Hyper-V is also a way to run Windows in a um, virtualized environment, but it is very, very different in many ways. First of all, it comes with nothing. You have to install your virtual machine yourself. You have to do all the work to get a virtual machine running. Now it can actually get and connect to servers also, which is something that is not made for the Windows sandbox. So here, what you get in Hyper-V is an environment that is running, it's a virtual desktop computer. And basically here, you can install another Windows 10, but if you want, you could install a Windows 7. If you want, you can install a Linux distribution. You can install anything that would run in a PC normally, uh, could be run technically in Hyper-V. Hyper-V is, think about it as a computer but it's a virtual computer. Windows 10 Sandbox or Windows Sandbox is a Windows 10 computer within Windows 10 in its environment. Hyper-V is, think about it more as a distinct machine. It's like having a second PC if you want. And you can run several Hyper-V together. You can run a Linux distro, another Windows, whatever you can run and have all of them running at the same time, depending on the resource of your PC, the speed and the amount of RAM memory you have. So in Hyper-V, the other difference that is uh, important to note is since it's like a new PC, it's like a PC, it actually saves what you're doing. So for example, in Hyper-V, you might be running Windows 10, but if you get a virus, it infects your Hyper-V machine and when you restart, it's still going to be infected. It's like, you know, restarting an infected Windows machine. Now, it does not infect your computer, but since the Hyper-V machine is a computer in virtualization, the only way to be able to, for example, clean a very infected Hyper-V machine is to delete it and start from scratch with a new Hyper-V machine that you're going to create. So it's very different because it keeps all the stuff and all the data. It keeps all the settings. It's like running Windows within Windows, but it keeps its own settings. It's like its own PC. And of course, it's not just for Windows. It's also for Linux if you want. A lot of Hyper-V users actually do this. They run Windows, but they're running a Linux distro in Hyper-V. This is very popular. And that is a Linux distro machine. I will actually take the time to install a distro and uh, come back with a video where I'm going to show you a Linux distro running within Windows 10 on this computer um, a little later uh, in the next few days so you guys could see a little more what iPerv is capable of. And like I said, it is capable of connecting to servers, and uh, it's a very, very more, it's a, it's a lot more advanced than just Windows Sandbox. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.